what's going on guys so in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys a free progress bar pack that you can use for your videos and also i'll be showing you guys exactly how to use it when it comes to final cut pro all right guys let's go so i'll leave a link to the downloads down below you can check it out and later on come back to this video to continue when you download and install it you can find it under titles i name it rj progress bar and it comes in two categories that's horizontal and vertical with the horizontal you can use it for your youtube videos and also with the vertical you can use it for your ig tiktok and also youtube shorts with this very tutorial we're going to use one and the horizontal but when you follow this very procedure you can use it for for the rest of the pack so just like that you just drag and drop it on your timeline just place it exactly where you want it to start so with this i think somewhere here is where he started the exercise so i'll just place it there then you can stretch it to whatever length that you want on your timeline and it's going to match exactly the timeline that you have or your time frame then go to the right side of the software that's where i provided you guys with the parameters that's really necessary for this plugin pack so i'll be explaining each of them to you guys so you know Know exactly how to use them when it comes to this plugin pack with the first one bar shape when i take that it's gonna give me the square shape and also when i untake then it will take me back to the round shape look carefully at this side when i take that it changes to square as you can see when i untake it changes to round so you can choose one of them depending on which one you prefer overall scale if i want to increase the size of it all i can just use the overall scale to do that and with the position let's say if you want to take it down you can use the y axis to just place it somewhere down here also you can just place it at the top depending on where you want to place it overall opacity if you want to dial down the opacity you can just use these controls to just dial it down Let's leave it at 100. Then go to outline controls. If you want to change the outline, now it's white. If you want to change it to somewhere blue, you can change the colors right here. And also with the opacity of the outline, you can use these controls to dial it down to somewhere here if you want it to really go down. Now the bar controls. If you want to change the bar color, you can just use this side. Let's say if you want it to be blue, we can just change it right here. Let's close it. And also with the opacity, if you want it to dial it down, we can easily do that. And also it comes with glow. If you don't want the glow, you can just untake that. But if you want it, you can take it and it's gonna show. And also you can turn down the opacity. If you really feel it so strong, you can just do that by using the glow opacity. And just like that, very easy to use and it's gonna save you a lot of time. This is another plugin pack that I think you guys might be interested in. All right guys, catch you on the next one. Peace.